Hi Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your general reading for the week of the 6th to the 12th of July 2020 and the energy is changing and it's more caring, it's more loving, it's more passionate, it's more nurturing you might be nurturing yourself more, You it might be more spiritual, you might be really busy with your higher self and getting to your center and also you might be feeling more sensual and handsome or beautiful. Okay, well I've just put out the cards and I'm using my nine card spread and um, this is the querent or the overall energy Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday and Sunday. And the corner cards uh, clarify the three tarot cards around it, or vice versa, they clarify the Lenormand. Now, it is also, um, you're going to get an Angel Feather card, the um, uh, Mystical Oracle uh, Crystal Deck, and the Answer of the Angels. But first of all, I would like to welcome my Cyber Angels and thank you for all the likes. Um, Scorpio, um, you came uh, in, on in ninth place or on nine pla on the ninth place. We had 21 likes for the video, and uh, the other person was Sagittarius. So I'm doing it in in following of. Scorpio Sagittarius. Okay, so well done. If you would like to be number one, then please keep on hitting and liking uh, the videos. Uh, Capricorn came in with 270 likes. Wow, amazing. Yes, it took a life on of its own. Um, so that is quite inspiring in itself. And sometimes it does that. And if you have just landed on this channel then welcome and I hope you enjoy the readings remember these are general readings that goes for you too cyber angel and if it doesn't resonate with you then please look at your rising sign and your moon sign now let's start with the first card and for the new people please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified as I go live three times a week that's on Monday Wednesday and Friday and I also put notifications out on Instagram I put notifications out on Instagram and Facebook and also on the community tab of YouTube you will know a couple of hours beforehand when I go live so on those days then just keep an eye on those three tabs okay because I've been uh, told by the viewers that they're not getting notifications by from YouTube okay the first card we um, <coughs> we've got is the King of Wands and the King of Wands represents Aries Aries. Now, don't exclude um, the Sagittarius or Leo, but basically uh, the King is Aries, the Queen is Leo, and Sagittarius is the Page. So, uh, I certainly would not exclude any of the other fire signs. This could be an, an Aries that you might be meeting or that you have know. Um, this could also be that you might be taking a page out of the King of Wands book. You have um, got fixed ideas or goals or dreams and you're coming into action big time. You're very logical, you're very strategic, you know what you want and you are very creative in knowing what you want and you will get it because you will find a way to get what you want you have reached this status the king of wands because you have learned a lot you are you've decided you've made the choice and you're going for it doesn't matter what it costs okay then in on monday we have the two of pentacles you might be balancing a home life between home and work you might be balancing your finances 
and I think you are managing okay because you are going for what you want okay and because we have the temperance card so again the temperance card um, also signifies Sagittarius you might be bal you are definitely balancing because temperance means also temptation in my uh, vocabulary temperance I think is derived from temp so you are balanced but you're keeping away from temptation and you know how to keep the balance because you've reached the stage of the king and you're not going to get distracted on your goal okay you're not going to get distracted away from your goal you're going to keep the balance you've got two balance cards you might even seek advice from an Aries or a a Sagittarius. Well done. Okay, Scorpio. Then we have the King of Cups. Now that is an Aries, uh, a, a Cancer. That is Ken Cancer, and Cancer, um, you uh, emotionally, you have reached the balance of uh, emotional uh, balance because the King of Cups means that he has become a king from a queen so you have learned how to maintain balance emotionally and this is because you've decided what you want and you're going for it and that's why you need your head here on earth with two feet on the ground and you know your boundaries but fish don't know their boundaries so you have n you've got to know your boundaries and that's how you can keep you're balanced you're not getting distracted you're going up and up and up and you've come a long way okay you've come from a two right to the king right so you can help other people now because you've reached that status and the king of cup is nurturing passion love nurturing caring sexy and sensual Woo! might be even looking after yourself if you aren't partnered up at the moment then you might be nurturing and taking care of yourself and I think that is the biggest message in this reading because of the two balance cards you're back in balance big time two kings right on top of top of each other or underneath each other Wow amazing well in Saturday and Sunday it's telling me you know what you want because this is dreams goals wishes and it's upside down that means that you don't have wishes or goals or in other words that you know what you want and you've got number seven luck is on your side two times seven is fourteen and you've got number fourteen fourteen becomes a one and a five one and a four is five so you might be out of balance on Wednesday but you're definitely back in balance on Saturday and Sunday and you're working hard you've put your pros and cons lists and you've taken the first wish and you've been manifesting you've been visualizing you've been asking you universe the divine the angels and they are going to bring what you need and this will motivate you of course these these lists you can see that this is coming to fruition one of your dreams or goals and you're going on to number two and you're going to make it happen you that's your bucket list you're going to work off your bucket list and you're going to enjoy it whoa you're coming into action big time and you're creative about it and you've got your emotions under control make sure that you do learn from the past because if you are closing off if you've got your emotions under control that can also mean that you're shutting off the dreams because it's upside down okay that's the other side so maintain open be a, open your solar plex open your heart to love and joy and creating a beautiful life 
if you're not hooked up and if you are hooked up then create this beautiful passionate loving nurturing caring active life with your partner perhaps you might have just bought a boat or a caravan and you're creating your life with your partner you're moving you're going on holiday boom that could be it you've decided that good on you okay ah well I mean the seven of cups is also very dreamy and peaceful and tranquil because nothing is happening unless you come into action right so you might be taking time out and putting everything in a row like these two kings here and getting the balance but I think you've already got it right let's on go on to the second card uh, the first corner card you've got the woman now the woman is waiting for love but she's looking away from the balance she's not balanced okay she's turned her back on stability and balancing she's also right above your cups and uh, the seven of cups which is your dreams so perhaps you've turned your back on um, a lady mm -hmm. she's no longer in your dreams perhaps it was unrequented love and that brought you out of balance it could have been a Sagittarius it could have been an Aries Perhaps there was too much passion and it just burnt out because you didn't know each other's boundaries. Oh wow, this is mind-blowing. This is pretty heavy. I'm sorry if you're going through this. I hope not. But here you are. You are also waiting for love. And I'm saying it's unrequented love because she has turned your back on the man. Okay, she's got other dreams because they are sitting there she's not reading her book she's sitting there dreaming into nothingness right in front of her and so is he but he's actually more looking towards her so yeah you're both dreaming but your dreams are upside down so you know what you want okay but she knows what she wants as well she hasn't got any dreams because she's on right above the upside down seven of cups card so perhaps that's why it, it was unrequented love because you both had different dreams you couldn't find the balance within your dreams okay now I'm going to show you something so that's why I'm sorting out the cards um, because this is the expanded Lenormand deck and I've got two men and two women in this uh, deck of cards so I'm just going to show you something and uh, I love this deck because if I read for a gay couple then I can uh, um, uh, then I can use the men both the man and the woman um, as for the same sex reading right now if I put the woman if it was this woman the woman would be looking at that man now if I was using this man right and he was lying here he's looking away from the woman so that is what I want to show you you are both looking in the same direction to the past but you're l not looking at each other that is a big message here and she is the uh, queen of swords the ace of swords I mean and he's the ace of hearts so this is you this is the king of cups okay this is hearts there's a new beginning in love somewhere this could be with a fire sign but not with somebody from the past because it's in lying in the past row okay it can't and it won't be with the same Aries or Sagittarius definitely not and this is what I would use past present and future in the extensive reading but I think you are already getting a fairly good idea of what is happening here with this general reading now we've got the Sagittarius here underneath the man and lying vertically 
or diagonally um, from the Aries from the man as well and keeping the balance well there could have been three people in this situation so there was no balance okay there was no balance to start off with so the relationship the second relationship if there was a second relationship was not in balance and it couldn't have started on a proper foundation okay perhaps you might have had to make a choice between two women and that brought you out of balance now we've got the um, garden we've got the garden and that's 20 and that becomes a two so you are in balance you are coming in balance the garden means also um, presentations meetings gatherings could be birthdays could be barbecues could be at a disco could be going out and you might be networking because in the olden days people used to gather and get to know each other and network and do business in parks whilst they were out with the family or friends and there would be reunions so there could be a reunion but again there could be a reunion between the Aries and you if you are a man okay or if you are a woman you could be you could have been too busy at work networking and that's why it broke off but I think it's more likely that there was a third person because we've got three people here okay now this could have been uh, the king of water so it could have been a cancer that could be the third person because again you've got cancer Aries and you were dreaming perhaps you had a choice between a cancer or an Aries and it didn't work out because there was three people in a party so you might be now you might be balanced because something has come to an end okay because we've got two new beginnings so something must have come an, to an end perhaps an ending to both relationships and that's brought you back into balance and knowing what you want and it stopped you dreaming okay because it's lying upside down so there could be a reunion with a cancer or an Aries but I don't think so because the dream card okay this is your card you, you know what you want because that is what this is how the reading goes and especially with fire signs okay they know what they want and they take action and they forget they've got blinkers on they go for what they want unconditionally and that is what number seven is saying upside down now she's right above it so this lady one if these are two ladies then one of these ladies has their own dreams and it wasn't like I said if there's three people in a relationship there is no balance to start off with so there is not no proper foundation the foundation is actually lying in the future if this was an extended reading now there is perhaps you made choices or decisions like you did because that's what the king of wands does and you've got your emotions under control because that's also lying very close to the temperance card and perhaps you have moved home and actually the house also signifies you might be buying a house but I don't see um, the chariot I don't see the world I don't see the wheel of fortune I don't see the six of ones or the knight of ones because those are the cards generally that means moving home but buying a house I think you might have um, bought a house or got a new house because the house means that as well but the house could also mean 
that you might have felt out of balance and locked yourself away and you isolated yourself this could also mean uh, theoretically you locked yourself away from these people you couldn't you couldn't handle two people in your life you were out of balance it made you uncomfortable you couldn't find the love you couldn't make a choice so you hide yourself away well nobody's going to come and lock on your uh, knock on your door the gate is open but the door is closed so come out of the house come out of your safety comfort or come out of your comfort zone sorry go outside do what you want take action you have the emotions under control meet different people perhaps meet more people differently than what you attracts to you okay instead of a fire sign perhaps a water sign Ooh, awesome I'm not doing the cartomancy really unless it jumps out but there is new beginning in love the ace of swords new wisdom and the ace of hearts there you are you've gathered uh, this is the swords you've got the wisdom you've got a new beginning perhaps you're a little bit wiser in protecting yourself and getting to know getting what you want and you're not you're not you've given your boundaries and people have to respect that boom that's good news so you are that's why you are the king of emotions and the king of action and passion you're not just giving it away to anybody and you're not get, giving any more tribe you won't take any more tribe as well okay invite a miracle that is what the angels are saying to you today the burgundy angel feather you can meditate on this you can drink this or wear it it will help you to detox and bring down the stress levels the angels love receiving invitations to be part of your life ask and you shall receive then you have the diamond you've got the diamond and when I saw this then I thought oh no this means a diamond ring I don't know why but it could be um, resonating with somebody okay so there might be a diamond ring now that there is balance but I don't think it will be with the old I think there's new people coming in because you found the balance you've got your emotions under control you know what you want you don't want any more tribe you don't want any more BS you're done with it okay you know what you want you're not dreaming anymore you're for real so make sure that you've come out of your comfort zone and that you have set your boundaries so that you stay safe that you won't get abused or misused emotionally that you maintain the status of the king now the essential meaning of the diamond this is one of the purest stones that you crystals that you can get besides um, a crystal itself the priceless gift of time and pressure combined beauty and strength arising from trials and challenges the right use of power well there you are you have the right use of power you have the power of two kings you know what you want you've got the emotions under control you give your love to the right person that deserves it you won't lose your head over this that's the message you know what you want and you're going for it boom love this reading I really do it shows you that you know what you're worth and you deserve love everybody does but we need to respect each other when we go out with friends and that become special friends or partners even if you are hooked up 
I don't think you nobody's going to stand for long when somebody manipulates them or doesn't bring in balance and equality in a relationship. This is turning out to be more of a love relationship reading than uh, it could be even better than your romance reading. So I would suggest have a look at your romance reading Scorpio of July. Um, and perhaps you might get more emotion uh, information out of that. But you are you have or are becoming strong because you've got the ki status of the king and your balance. You know what you want and you're going for it. And like it says, the diamond. The diamond is the is the. They also use diamonds to cut. So you will cut away what is of no use to you. Okay, that's the hardest stone that you can get, and is the priceless stone. You have put no. Pri you are priceless. That's it. That's the message here. And you are thinking like I'm a diamond. The priceless gift of time and pres uh, pressure combined. I'm beautiful and str strong. And I'm rising from the trials that I've been through and challenges. I've come out stronger on the other side. Okay? And you, you have to use your power with respect and rightfully. Righteousness. Now, there is something here that is not the right time. So, what is the not the right time? Let me have a look. I don't know, uh, not the right time. Um, I don't know why, but I'm getting... Um, this could be really new to you, that you know what you want. Um... And it could be also really new to you that you are uh, you're emotionally balanced. It could also be too new to let somebody else in your life if you've separated. Or let me just take one scenario. If you've separated or you, uh, and you're living in a new house, then you need time to slow down get used to this new feeling of having emotional control and knowing what you want and you're going for it no try uh, no you don't want any more tripe or strife or BS you want to get yourself together and look for love f with somebody that deserves it somebody that is nurturing and caring somebody that does not turn their back on you okay now if you are hooked up whether you're female or male it, the same goes for you come out of your comfort zone okay set your boundaries maintain that balance but let your partner know that you have set your boundaries. If they don't know that you've got boundaries and that you've set boundaries, then how do you expect them to change? That could be not the right time. It could be not the right time for them. They have to come out of their comfort zone as well, perhaps. You, you have already come out of your comfort zone. It's lying in the future. Or well, you're thinking about it. And if you're stuck with that, then ask somebody for help. Ask somebody that ha that is um, active and is logical and is supportive, nurturing and caring. Ask them for help. What do you think? What can I do about it? Don't shy away to ask for help. Okay. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. Take care and stay safe and enjoy the week. Ciao, ciao. Please like and share. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all 
and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.